Fuzzy Boutique here with another Micropolis City vlog tour. I have to do a quickie tour of this little bright block because it's about to go into the mail to join the Sydney Brick Show. Now I can't go to Sydney Brick Show in person because it clashes with the Sunshine Coast Brick event here locally and I was really lucky for somebody in my Rainbow Brick Slug who was able to um, allow me to post this to them so that it can join the rainbow section of the Sydney Brick Show's Micropolis City. So I'm very excited to show you this block. It's one of my favorites. Let's have a closer look, guys. So we're gonna start with this one here. This one actually has a rooftop swimming pool inside of there. Uh, I think that's just because of that, that's, that's the colour um, that I had free to build up that middle part in there. So you'll notice that all the different houses are very brightly coloured because it's a homage to my rainbow brick slug. It's my little part of the, the city that's very bright, very colourful. But I have a lot of um, very colourful parts in my city. I, I love this block though, it's one of my favourites and I've, I've just given it a bit of a, a makeover and added a, a bit more detail because this is going to um, a bigger show. So we've got all different roof lines. When I built this block um, I had sort of hoarded up different pieces for making roofs different pieces for making the bombs of the houses and lots of different colours and I just sat in there and I was like okay what am I going to make what am I going to use this piece for and yeah each house ended up being a bit different but we've got a black roof here just a normal little roof at the front I decided to just go weird and whack in whatever came out this one we've got sand green a white roof tan gold we've got lots of um, landscaping around all the houses so we've got flower bushes and flowers and flowery trees and you'll see behind there there's a park lots more flowers down the side here and we've got like these tall sort of flowery bushes things here and we've got um, this nice looking house. Now this, this house will look nice pretty much in any sort of uh, um, residential area. We've just got a sand green roof, tan um, sides. We've got this lovely, very modern, trans clear front veranda. And you'll notice that in between a lot of the houses, I either have hedges like this, edges like that wall fencing so everything's you know pretty pretty well um, finished there's a few limitations with the space here that um, sometimes I can't put fences in all the places that I like to put them okay so we've got another house here um, beside it that has a red roof line we've got sand green uh, brick profile bricks and we got a little garage um, usually down in the downstairs I either put a garage or we um, assume that they've built it in and made a um, extra room downstairs so again um, you'll see a lot of repeats of this sort of idea of a fence along a top veranda of course it's not fenced in the sides because of the limitations of what you can do in this scale but it's to give the impression so you'll notice down the middle we've got this this laneway road so that we can uh, get to the park in the middle of the block here there's also a couple of houses beyond beyond that laneway so we've got you know hedgerows and fences in between the houses. This house here is pretty interesting. It uses some curvy, curvy bits. It's very curved. So we've got curvy bits here, we've got curvy bits here. 
it's got some very rounded lines but I really like the look of it it's interesting it's it's sort of it feels modern because it's not all straight straight lines it's also a very big house I would have liked if there wasn't a limitation on the way that the bricks are I would have liked to have like a little attic window there but I haven't figured out a way to do it um, because of the, the length of these bricks here. I'm a little bit limited, but I suppose you can imagine there's an attic up there. A little attic window would look really cool. And uh, down here we've got uh, bright red, um, beside lime green, and then we've got that clear sort of modern veranda again, and then we've got the, um, the fleshy coloured profile bricks so that's pretty cool okay so which way did we go we started there we go went that way or that way that way I looked at those okay don't mind me getting lost halfway through my block tour because there's so much to show on this block <laughs> so then we've got um, blue, bright yellow, green, lime green, that's just a lot of different colours that sort of, because blue and yellow make green, <laughs> rainbow! <laughs> we've got the clear, um, you know, very modern sort of veranda again, lots of flowers, um, I've used these little pink ice cream tops. It's sort of a different kind of texture. It helps it to sort of stand out a bit, but you can still see that you know, it's intended to be um, a plant of some kind with pretty pink bushes. Moving right along, we've got a bit of a hedgerow here. The neighbours haven't decided on on having the same hedges, so half the hedge is one, and half the hedge is another. But at least they're the same colour. We have some consistency there. Okay. <laughs> Moving on with the, the building bright rainbow scheme. We have the pink and purple house. So it has a magenta roof line, pink and uh, purple. And more pink and more purple. It's just, yeah, a lot of fun this one. This one has a flat roof. It's very boxy looking. We've got that that trans clear, um, a lot of trans clear in it. But you'll notice the windows, if you can see, are actually trans pink uh, bricks, which is so much fun to do. And you can see that this this building on the corner has its back to its neighbour. So we've got this tall tree and a little void in between them. And then again, neighbours that can't decide on what hedges they're having beside each other, so they've got different bushes making a little fence in between them. This one, oh, talk about leery colours. We've got light blue, we've got white, we've got dark purple, we've got trans pink for the windows, we've got a white deck, we've got blue uh, fencing along the veranda. So much fun. You can really see the pink in this one because the light's picking it up against the purple. Then next to all the exciting neighbours we've got this boring little thing here. <laughs> it's got a green roof, uh, light grey sides and white down the bottom. We've just got a plain white roof line here. No veranda. You can sort of see a bit of a park area an open area behind all these houses because there's no no fences down in between them so you'll notice in a moment when I finish the outside of the door I'll open up the middle and show you that this is actually two halves of a block <laughs> didn't see that coming did you so this is the other end of the laneway so I'll start up this end. So we've got this pretty boring looking colours, but very pretty with a 
big roof line and underneath that we've got this bright light yellow which is gorgeous and then tan down the bottom we've got some tinted windows very fancy very modern we've got a rounded roof line over here in this light blue color again another one of those sorts of verandas and then we've got this this rounded shaped roof line on this one white clear you've got yourself um, grill casings for the garage and then we've got flesh colored bricks which is pretty pretty traditional but a very bright colored roof now to pull this apart without breaking it where's it half ah, okay so you can see there's like a little split here so we pull this apart ta-da we now have two so it actually splits the um, park up the back here in two so this half of the park has this beautiful red tree little green tree some different trees you'll notice that this tree here is actually made up of stacked up plates gives it interesting texture and there's a little pathway that leads up using the, the little round tiles that I love so much so this half we've got some flowery blue trees because it didn't have any other colors but I thought what the heck this is supposed to be a rainbow residential block so why not have some fun I've already got some like little blue flowers so who cares that nature doesn't do very much blue <laughs> so we got like um, oranges and pinks purples lime greens normal greens bright greens very colourful, so much fun, I had so much fun building this block. And this is the other half of the gardens, and you can see, got some interesting trees, lots of flowers, uh, this, this one's just made with a round brick. You can see into the back of behind I got this this tree back here that has lots of different flowers on it. Lots of fun. I'll just tip this one up so you can have a good look in all the backyards. And lots of flowers, lots of trees. Lots of little hidden um, bits and then there's this little um, at the top there little statue let's see if better from this side little statue in the garden for all the people to enjoy so that's it my two half blocks what do you think guys uh, does this inspire you to make a interesting residential block? Let me know in the comments below. So thanks to you who have subscribed. And um, uh, if you haven't, why not? Follow me or do more block tours whilst people are watching them. And um, keep on building guys. I will see you next time. Bye bye.